special, then why'd you leave me? How long can you live with ghosts before deciding to become one? But I was a lonely too. The hardest part wasn't that I was in a cult, the hardest part was I was lonely. Synanon had started as a therapeutic community for alcoholics and drug addicts before gaining popularity with others, like Jolay's mother, trying to create a new way to live. But in recent months, it has sought to silence critics by lawsuits and intimidation. By 1978, the organization was forcing members to shave their heads and swap spouses. Synanon has armed itself and taken a defiant stance against its critics. And founder Chuck Diederich had organized his own military. Nobody is going to mess with us. Nobody. We were never young. Jolay was just five. Just too afraid of us. When he says he watched a former member brutally beaten. I remember them hitting him. And I remember um, our eyes locking. He was beaten unconscious. From the way you write about it, it stayed with you for quite a while. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It followed me around. I mean, I had nightmares about it. Mikkel and his older brother fled with their mom to Salem, Oregon. After she became fearful of the group. So far away. But he says she would frequently sink into depression for what his five-year-old mind heard as the deep Russian. My mother, she tried to outrun her demons. And I really believe that, that she tried. Uh, it just didn't work. At 11, he moved to Los Angeles to be with his dad, an ex-con, former Synanon member, and recovering heroin addict who would change his life. They loved going to the racetrack together, Hollywood Park. My dad and I had some really important moments there. Kind of looked out over the dirt oval and he said, you know, you don't have to be like me. You know, you're a smart kid. Go do something better with your life. What did hearing your father say that mean to you? Oh, God, I, it meant everything to me when he said that. It was, you know, he, he was telling me to go be my own person. He had seen the alternative. I watched my brother start dealing with addiction by the time he was 13, Then I think it scared me. You know, I think a lot of it was I just decided to invent this person. Who was the person you invented? I was the honors club president, you know, track and field athlete, AP, straight A student. My high school yearbook was like, everything says like, remember me when you're president. Jolay would graduate from Stanford and distance himself from his mother, with whom he has not spoken in years. How do you feel about what you went through with your mom now? It's really hard to hate someone whose pain you know so well. And there's this part of me that's, you know, conflicted, because on the one hand, there's a lot of anger, like I didn't have a childhood. And that's a tough one. What do you do with that anger? You know, you write books. <laughs> <laughs> you write songs. He wrote his new music and his memoir in his basement study, filled with inspirational sayings. Oh, this one's good. You don't need confidence, just write. Jolay <laughs> saw his book as an artifact, a place to find his late father and other relatives. Because you understand that so much of my life was spent looking for a family. And so I could create this artifact where they're all there. And how does that feel? It feels good. It feels mystical. That's probably the thing I'm most proud of, is to have honored them in that way, that it meant so much to me that I spent three years locked in a room uh, trying to create a world where I could do that. Mikhail Jolay is now married with two young children. He said becoming a father and seeing his son at six months, the age when many Synanon kids were separated from their parents, really put into sharp focus the impact that has on children and that it had on him. And he's now making sure to pick up and hug his kids as much as possible. Jo jo Jolay's memoir, Hollywood Park, is on sale now wherever you buy your books, Tim. Well, I tell you, Anthony, that was a great tease. I really want to read that. I remember Synanon. Unfortunately, I'd never heard of Mikhail Jolay until this very moment, but what a story he has. My heart just opens to him, and it's good to see that he seems to have come out on the other side and is okay. Wow. Yeah, he's thrived in many ways, uh, it, and it's a beautifully written memoir. He's a wonderful writer, too. Yeah. All right, ahead, sports legends.